What I'd like to address in this video is I want to mention to you that you need to match up the rate of rotation of the arms to the angular momentum with which you swing the club on the downswing. What I mean by that is this, is if you're a player that doesn't have a lot of angular momentum because you're casting the club, in essence what you're doing is you're squaring up the club with the hands. So there's actually a disincentive for you to rotate your arms because if you do unload the club early and you rotate your arms on top of that, your face is going to be very close and the ball is going to get driven to the left. What players do that have a tendency to unload the club early is they have a tendency to block. That's the only way they can keep the ball on the golf course. Now, if you're one of those players and you're learning how to lag the golf club, and you start dragging that angle and you continue to block, well your ball is going to go way out to the right. So as you increase this angle on the downswing, you want to feel that your arms are rotating much earlier on the downswing. What I have my players feel is, is that they have a, a, a tennis ball or an orange and they put it between their forearms. And basically what we want to feel when you're coming down is you want to rotate your arms without squeezing the ball or the orange. If you do that, then what ends up happening is your left wrist can remain flat. If you do squeeze the ball or the orange, that gets you into a scooping position where you lose an awful lot of power. So, just remember, as you start increasing your angular momentum, try to feel that you rotate your arms earlier in the swing.